Just before I start the video, I wanted to give a disclaimer saying that I did buy my hamster from a pet store, which was a really bad idea because pet stores do really, really horrible things to their hamsters. And if I ever get a hamster in the future, I will definitely get it from a breeder or be adopting it. And if you're looking into getting a hamster, please do the same. If you'd like to do further research on this topic, feel free to do that. I just wanted to spread some awareness before I started the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in a while, but no worries, because A the Avocado is back at it again with another vlog. And not just any vlog, no. Today, I have a super duper cool hamster cage setup vlog. And the reason I'm so excited to make this video is because the hamster I got, her name is Coco, she's a Syrian hamster. She is actually the first real attractive pet that I've ever gotten. And yes, I've had fish in the past and I still do have fish, but I feel like the environment is more interactive than the actual fish itself. So I was really just looking forward to bonding with a real interactive pet. And you know, let's not waste any more time and get on with the video. So here's everything we're gonna be putting into the cage. We have an unopened bridge, dried Tulsi sprigs, that's basically a type of basil, a hideout for the hamster, a pine cone that I found, and yes, it has been sanitized, food and water bowls, two chew toys, one of them is the super cute ice cream, hay that we're gonna be mixing into the bedding, and the bedding we're gonna be mixing the hay into. Now here's something really special that I've been waiting to open, and I promise you this is really, really exciting. My brother will be doing the honors. Well, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. It's this really, really cool wheel. And it's actually pretty big, it's 10 inches. And you may be wondering why we need such a big wheel. Well, that's because I have a Syrian hamster, like I mentioned in the beginning. And they're actually the biggest species of hamsters, so they need quite a big wheel. So the first thing I put inside was all the bedding. In this area, I didn't keep that much bedding to fit the wheel. And I also kept a lot of bedding on the other side for the hamster to burrow. Now we're going to add in the hay. This is what it looks like. It actually adds a lot of volume to the bedding. Now my dad is adding some of the hamster's old bedding from the pet store just to give it a familiar scent. And this is what it looks like right now. And now I'm going to be adding the wheel in. I just love how it looks. It looks like a gigantic sun and all the little pink pieces of bedding look like little flowers and all of the bedding and hay. Now I'm going to be adding in the bridge. And then I'm gonna add the hideout. the food and water bowls, the ice cream toy, and also the pine cone. Free chew toys that we got from the pet store. And then we're gonna add the lid. We actually added a cool dangly chew toy, and we also added the sprigs of Dulce. And last but not least, we're gonna add our little cocoa bean. This is what the finished cage looks like. I'm in love with it. In this empty corner, we're gonna be adding a sand bath. The sand is on its way, and when it comes, we're definitely gonna be adding a sand bath there. Now feel free to sit back and relax and watch our little Coco Bean enjoying her new enclosure.
Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you want to.